Warning. The following video may contain disturbing imagery, jump scares, and or flashing lights. Do not watch if you are weak in the bladder. I don't like this one little bit. I don't like this at all. I don't like this at all. I do not like this at all. One more. S okay, 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 okay. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna look at the wall now. Um, 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 dee da 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 ha. Okay. What the blaze? This just happened. My head is, it's pounding. And where did she go? The pile of things on the floor after Katie's disappearance. There is a mask. Nice mask. It's a Pokemon uh, mask? It broke when it fell. The distorted features. There's a quite a coincidence to them. I don't like to look at it. I And look underneath the mask. A photograph. What? It has a note. A little, little Katie show. There was a girl lit up by spotlight in a music hall, singing to live piano. Okay. What is this? March 8th, 1843. I'm exhausted. Father made me rehearse today for eight hours. By the end, the music wavered with his trembling hands. It's still a long time for the day of the show, but he insisted that everything must be perfect. One more song, he said over and over. Uh oh. March 21st, 1843. Father got really mad at me, and he started to shout when, after many hours of rehearsals, I said that I wanted to get out and play a little bit in the street. More and more, he is obsessed with rehearsing, with concerts, with perfection. April 3rd, 1843. I am not the one who earns the money to feed us. I am not the one who comes from all over to see and admire... Is my name not the one printed on all the posters? My name. The dolls for sale at the theater entrance. They have my likeness, my dress, my beautiful hair. I should be the one who makes the decisions. April 21st, 1843. One more song. Yes, one more. A last song for you, Papa. Someone had issues. Can we get in here now? No. It's a mirror. My reflection stares back at me through the grime. <laughs> and now back to the creeping laughter. Ooh. Oh, I don't like the look at this. The piano is so dusty, I dare say it, is, it hasn't been played in years. I wonder if it still works. Huh. Something's preventing one of the keys from depressing. There's a key, hun <laughs> There's a key under uh, hidden under the key. Well. Okay. Looks like the lyrics to a song entitled The Last Song for You. The verses are scrawled so poorly as to make them eligible. Hello, what's this? What's this? What's this? It's a magical. This cage must have housed a huge bird. Only a feather remains. I can't reach the feather from here. Dang it. Come with a feather. Back to the creeping laughing. I don't like it. I don't like it one bit. I do not like creeping. The doorknob is missing? You gotta be kidding me. Okay, it's getting louder over here. Hello? Crazy man? Um. I don't hear any laughter in here. Valclef TB Pressed. A beautiful young lady with a peaceful expression. It looks like one of Raphael's Raffles Angels. Who's Raphael? No, no, no. Did I not pray enough? I have not written faithfully for ever. Faithfully ever you last. Note you screwed into me. Middle C up to A measures G up to C tied. F, second, violin, bar, two, middle C, up to A, double note, E, G, C, no. This was supposed to be our masterpiece, viola C, up an octave, and then up to G. What, what, what do you think, you, 
who do you think you are? Are you blind, man? Can't you see that I'm creating the angel's voice? The work, C to A, an octave higher. A fragile voice, flutter around the struffy. No, 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 hands! Swallow you, laugh at you. I lost it again. Are you all right, sir? My inspiration, too, was lost. Quite lost in the fog. The notes mourn just for her. Who is she? Oh, beautiful Daphne. Daphne? No, it's Daphne. It's definitely Daphne. The best soliest, soliest that a composer could have. The voice of an angel. What made my music possible. She would stand there by the window. The wind caressed her cheeks. It danced in her golden hair. Her dress glowed like an ember in the dusk sun. What happened to her? She was very delicate, like a flower in the desert, like a petal in the storm. The sickness, it just swept her away. Her voice, my goodness, her voice, it came from heaven. She was the angel of my music. Mausoleum? The mausoleum outside the house, is that where Daphne is buried? Daph Daphne. Daphne is buried? That's right, I have visited her many nights, and have even slept beside her on the cold, wet stone floor. Okay. Weird man. I am following a man, though. Come to think of it, maybe he is following me. He has a red beard and wears a cape. I sometimes find this man, too, among my notes. I feel him close to me at times. Please, I need to get out of this place. You ask me for words, but words are betrayers. They dirty. Music must just music remains beautiful, but it's a prisoner inside all of us. We must set it free. I can't help you now. Not until my work is finished. My work is the important thing. She was the only my only inspiration. I must go. Bye bye, crazy. Let's let music and singing surround you, my man. Hey, let's take this and put it here. The mask will fall off in this state. I will have to repair it first. Dang it. <laughs> I'm where Mr. Creepy La uh, Mr. Creepy Creepy Laffy Laffy Taffy is. <laughs> oh, wait, key! 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 Key can go here, right? Yes! Okay. Elegant Scarlet Party dress inside. I will take that. Okay, um, what else? Let's glue this thing back together. Um, is there glue here? Uh, it's covered with dust. How do you fix a mask again? <gasps> oh, the slimy stuff! Um, uh, we need, like, a bottle or something, though, don't we? Um,. Find one. Hold on. I'm gonna go back over here. Um, and down here, because I think we can now walk around in here now, can't we? Yeah. Or is that it? Oh, no, there's more. Do not... I hear a woman's voice in the distance. It sounds as if she's singing a lullaby. Do not fall asleep. I don't like the sound of that. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, this is not even working on me. Okay, what's this? There's a note obscured by the mud. I mustn't fall asleep. I hear them crawling. I hear them gnawing rats. Too many of them. They know I'm here. I mustn't fall asleep. They stalk me coming closer and closer. I can see their blood red eyes glimmering in the darkness. I mustn't fall asleep. Fall asleep is going to be the last thing I do. Especially after this game. A pile of ragged clothes caked with mud and full of holes. I don't like the sound of that. Okay. I am seriously getting sleepy. The dead roots of a once great tree fill the cavern's sewers. A strange green moss covers its surface and there is a great crack along the length. Okay, is that all I can do? No, we're not going there. Does this go anywhere? No. 
I'm like clicking everywhere to see if there's anything I can do. Do not fall asleep. Okay, well, that's strange. Is there anything I can do over here? No? Okay, so... I hate being lost. Let's go here. Uh, can we go here? I think I find another bottle in here somewhere. Uh... Doesn't look like there's any other bottles in here. Drum. Um, no. What do I need? I am completely confused right now. This one's actually a long... I think all of them from here on out are actually pretty long. So there's probably going to be a couple episodes made out of these. Let's go out here then. Like the only place I've not gone to. Nope, this is a dumb idea. Nope, not going to do it. Nope, 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 nope. Um, let's see here. Oh! I'm an idiot. Well, how could I not think of looking there? Running around looking for a bottle. Hey, he has gloves, dang it. Okay. So, do. Oh, wait, 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 wait. E. E. No, wait. E. No. Hey, what the heck? Thick and sticky liquid. I can't just pick it up with my hands. Use gloves. Why can't you uh, use the gloves? Do I still need a container or something? That's what it's sounding like. Okay, let's see what we can find. Ooh, what can we find today? Oh, what can we find today? Oh, this is where I need the gloves. Oh, it's a spherical piece of metal. A doorknob! We have found the magical doorknob. To Narnia! Let's go. Oh, not the laughing. I hate laughing in horror. They're not the best things in the same place. <laughs> I don't like this! No! No! Nobody, nope, nope, no! I don't want to be in there! Uh, oh, goodness, what are they? Oh, goodness, okay, okay. Mouse just started glitching all over the place for me. <laughs> Lazarus coming from behind the curtains. I can faintly see the outline of a figure on the other side. I don't see it. Okay, be ready for anything. Hello? Oh. The record is scratched. It's repeating on a loop. Please stop. Oh, I do not like that. It's a porcelain doll with a lifelike proportion. The face has been removed, leaving her featureless, but its wig shines brightly as though of human hair. I don't like the sound of that. Wait, hey, I really think it was a female for crying out loud. Sound like a male the whole time. Okay, so we got like three items now that are probably very, very important, but. Okay, hold on, let's just. I'll just take that, thank you. And can I leave these here? Yeah. Oh, goodness. That kind of scared me, but okay. 
Yes, just right. It looks more and more like the young woman in the painting. Oh, it does. Now let's just fix her face. And we will be golden! Okay, so let's use the score. Get it all sappy. What? What do you mean the paper's too thin? It would shatter apart. Oh, you gotta be kidding me! Wait, 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 can I? Well, here's the wood. Can I take one of these? No? No, dang it. What do you want from me, game? I got the score. What do I have to do with the score? Uh... No. I don't know what to do. Super close to like look it up for right now. <laughs> I don't know what I'm about to do. <gasps> Wait, the feather! I know what to do. I know what to do. If I blow th through the paper roll, maybe I can manage to make the feather fly. Yes! You, I got it. It's a big black feather with some gray spots in the base. Okay, good. Now, can we use the feather? to fix the face. Okay. Wow, I almost looked that up. Okay, I have proven I am actually pretty smart. Cannot believe I almost forgot about the feather. Right here. There we go. Managed to cut the feather with the resign. And now take you and you. I stuck the pieces together with the resign. This face, it reminds me of a girl from one of the paintings. It does? Okay, if you say so. It reminds me of the mask. Some of you might get that reference. Not that mask, the um... Oh great, what is it? I'm trying to think of the man's name right now. Um... The mask with, uh, great goodness me, I cannot remember his name. You know the mask by Loki or something? There's the mask and then the son of the mask. Which everyone did not like. The second one, like the first one. Oh, I know what his name is. I just can't think of it right now. Daphne, you're back. Are you a fringement of my... Michael? <laughs> Most definitely. Are you the ghost of my dying music? No, it doesn't matter because you are with me again. And I now know exactly how to compose my masterpiece. Please, take my violin now that I have completed my work. I no longer have a use for it. It needs to be with her. Go to the mausoleum and place a violin where your heart lies. Where her heart lies. The angel of my music will guide you. Here, take the key to the mausoleum, my friend. I need to get out of this... Oh, I must go. Okay, let music and singing surround you, my man. Look for the Smurg. Smurg? For Phylon Crochisto. I thought he gave us the violin. Okay, now I want out of here. Man, her face is like all over the place, so... Jim Carrey! That's who I'm thinking of. Jim Carrey. The Mask. The Jim, the Jim Carrey movie, The Mask. And the second movie didn't really have Jim Carrey in it, so... I know there's like some other movie that had the name The Mask, so... I don't like the look of this, though. Ooh, what's this say? Here lies an angel. Great pity must be felt for those who do, who did not hear her. 
Pity for those not blessed to be naive, Grace, not shaken by her heavenly voice, trembling their souls in divine absence. Here lies Daphne. God rest her soul. The sarcophagus is broken? Where on earth is the coffin? Who could have done this? Should I leave the violin here? I was asked to leave a violin close to Daphne's heart, but she isn't here anymore. Okay. It's fine. A trail of soil leads from the sarcophagus to the to this hole. Was the coffin transported there? Let's go find out. Oh, I don't like this at all. I don't like this at all. Oh no, we're back here. Okay. What's this? It's locked. Okay. What was that? I don't like this. I don't like this! Maybe I can see something if I look into the keyhole. Darkness, there is nothing more. Works for me. Let's not do that again. Bye! What was that? No! I don't want to look! Oh! Goodness me, what is that? I'm gonna sit. I'm gonna be a coward right now and run for my dear life! No way am I going in there with that! No, 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 no. No. I refuse. I refuse. And I'm already back here. Fine, I'm going in. Hello? Any creepy things in here? With the help of River, the naive Daphne hid from, from Sun in the shadowy mist. She changed her skin for a strong, for strong bark so her heart was forever concealed. Her dance frozen in the rustle of thousand leaves. Okay. Books with unpronounceable names in dead languages. Okay. I don't like this. I don't like this one bit. Myths and legends. This time Norse tales, Greeks, ancient Sumerian, others that I don't recognize. Some of these scripts I've never seen. Okay. Oh, it's dark in here. Hello, 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 hello. What is that, Abe Lincoln or something? What is he holding? It's guts, I don't know. I want to see. Hello. I beg your pardon, sir, if I have startled you. <laughs> what are you doing here in the dark? What are you doing here, sitting in the dark? Why, I am reading these marvelous books in the dark? But how can you see the words with any, without any light? That is the only way to see them, really. That is, if you want to see the words on the other side of the page. The words from the shadows. Shadow always hides from the dark, from the light. You know, so they can only be read in darkness. Okay... Are you the owner of this bookshop? Oh goodness no, the bookshop doesn't belong to anyone, not since I found it here. I'm just a guest, an explorer of these ancient tomes. Man of weird appearance, have you seen a man pass this way? He is red haired, tall, and wears a cape. Oh yes, I know of whom you speak. I see him here from time to time, pursuing the books. He would pick one off the shelf, glance at it, and then put it back. He and I never spoke, though. Well, why do you ask? I guess that he is calling me, guiding me somehow. 
I see him sometimes, but he slips away whenever I try to meet him. I feel as if he is guiding me towards something. That may be so. We each have our own white rabbit to lead us through lost places. Can you tell me which books this man pursued? Pursued? Let me think. Ah, oh, yes, I recall him looking at unexplored places of the Empire. An excellent tome. Very revealing and very rare. This book should be very fortunate to have a copy in its collection. I'm not sure where it is now, but I'm sure it can't be far. Oh, don't tell me I have to. Um. Hold on, there was something else. Okay, that was. Pardon the interruption, sir. I will leave you to your reading. Okay. Ta 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 ta. Let's see if we can find it. Large collection of books. And there's another way over here. Did we just stop? Uh, did we just step into Doctor Who or something? Definitely a song that would be in Doctor Who, I can tell you that. Book lies on the floor, its spine reads, unexplored places in the upper page is marked in it. The Place of Eternal Fog, also known as Zala, it is a unique bay in the east of Bajalum, near the jungles of Bengalila. It is surrounded by tall, snow-capped mountains, usually covered in mist. The waters of the bay are very dangerous and rarely visited. Huh, I'm gonna t can I take it? Um, I don't like the look of this over here. What the heck? Hmm, off about that. It's a massive dead tree. How could it have formed here inside this building and without any sunlight? I was wondering that too. Grand lines a book entitled the, the Songs of Zala. The page in it which is open has been torn out, but the remaining fragments identifies a song titled The Search of Summerg. And I see something up here. I see something caught in the branches. It appears to be a page from the book below. Oh, you guys are kidding me. Get the violin. And throw it up there. No? Do we stick it on here? No? What do we do? This tree keeps me out. I have a feeling that this is somewhere we've been. Go! Down! Ooh, I don't like the look of this. <sighs> We're back here, aren't we? Alright, I just thought of something. I'm gonna take this and stick it on the tree. I may seem like an, a strange person for doing this, but for some reason... Grab the violin, and stick it there. Yeah. I'M A GENIUS! The violin has disappeared amongst the roots, as it, if swallowed up, the trunk seems to be expanding. I should probably get out of here. That noise came from above. Huh. It seems the person turned into a tree? Don't look at me, I don't know. How am I supposed to know how out of the kit how things are supposed to work? I don't know things about the dead. There is a condition that you can get that makes you look like a tree though. You get all deformed up and whatnot. It's like a, oh man, it's like a lot of, like, um, boils and stuff. The tree has grown! Some of the branches have crashed through the window and into the... Dang it! Hug! I need that page! Oh, it's daytime now. 
On the outside we go. Okay, so we gotta go here. Probably over here. I was wrong. Oh goodness, I just had a glitch. I think the sound just stopped for a second. So where I need to go then? Over here? the branch. Lady, do you know? How do I get out of this place? That's how I to get out of this place. Get out. There is no way to exit the fog. We only can wander around and get lost in it. In the fog, all the stars die. Thanks for the mode of confidence. There it is. What was with that music? The paper sheet. Captured in the branches is now within my reach. Give it. On this page is a strange poem. First into the wind. <clears throat> they sought for the king, but lost were the birds. They wept in the suffering and flew to the sea, compelled by a need. They found their silence. Their quest was complete. And it oh, goodness me! A you giant turd muffin! Okay... Oh goodness! Okay. Hey, you get back here. We have to talk. Um... Come on, here's it. I have a feeling we're gonna need this note, seeing how we still have it. Parchment. Here's into the wind. So. This is for the wind. That sounds like wind. Um. Can we go? Okay. Next, King lost with the birds. Listen for some birds. Oh, ha, 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 hi! What are you? Or you're an ocean. Go this way then. Dang it! I screwed up. I got lost in the fog. If I am to make my way through, I will need to orient myself. Dang it. I remember this fog. That's water. I'm a little water. Okay. And now Not this way. Hold on. We're supposed to be finding it. I think it's birds. I think we're listening for birds. Right there. Okay. Right here? Oh, yep. And then... They wept in suffering the sea. I think we're listening for the sea now. Can't tell if that's wind or ocean.
That's ocean. Okay, there seems like those were like the only two sounds, so... Okay, and silence, so... Can we... Where is it? Where do I go? Where do I go there? Well, now I don't hear it anymore. Where is it? How do we go here? Oh, there it is. Where do we go? Oh, don't screw with me! Oh, there it is. Okay. Now, we get to find silence. I think I found silence already. Just to make sure. I'm gonna walk all the ways over here. Okay, all I'm hearing over here is crows. Here's silence. But I'm also still hearing water, so. I hope I'm right! I might have to use. Hold on. I'm gonna try something. Or not. Silence over here. Do it. Do we orientate ourselves correctly? <laughs> ah, stop it. Where'd you go? I'm following him. I see you. I'm coming after you. Your ticket, please. You the ticket master? Thank you. Please come in. Okay, I don't like creepy theaters in the middle of nowhere. Wait, wait a second. Wait a second, those look a little weird. Something's not right in this place. Oh, they limited my vision. I'm walking on both ends now. <laughs> I don't like this. I really, really don't like this. I don't like this at all. This is weird. Hello, Jeremiah. I knew you would find us eventually. Welcome to our humble performance. What do you mean by that? You were there. You were a part of the group. You don't remember my name, do you? I am Alexandria. What is all this about? What do you want from me? For you, nothing, dear Jeremiah. It is you who come here searching for answers. It is the same as when you joined our group. We each came with our own reasons. Do you remember yours? <laughs> I don't know. Philosophy? <laughs> Indeed, it was our thirst for knowledge that drew us together. That is what he was reading, wasn't it? No, wait. Nah, no one waits for us out there, dear Jeremiah. There is no one who will... I cannot hear myself! Thank you. There is no one who will care... Shush. Who will care for us when our home... When our hour comes. When our home comes. When our hour comes, we had been alone until now. 
How did I end up in London after being buried in the boarding school? The bird protects us. It is by his design that we should meet again? Okay, I, I have no idea where they went. But we are not the only ones who take shelter beneath his wings. His influence and power is even expand is ever expanding, ever reaching. Do you not feel him beckoning? I only want to wake from this nightmare. This is no nightmare. It is a show. A, a performance. The truth we seek lies beyond the curtain. Now we have crossed the point of no return. The lights are on. The stage is set. And soon you shall meet the actors. Welcome. <laughs> oh, goodness. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> Oh, like this! Oh, like this No, 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 no. This belongs to you. Okay. Okay. Dearest Hero Dr. Wakefield, if you're reading this, then you have followed my instructions to arrive at the agreed upon address. Good, I, apo I apologize that I could not accompany you immediately. My own investigation have demanded a certain unanticipated degree of attention. I have determined that your patient, Devitt, is in serious trouble. I will contact you with more information both days. In the meantime, discrimination of is the utmost importance. Your friend, Johanna Kerferman. I say we're going to go kill that... Whatever you call it. You know. The giant bird thing. Because no, he is not good for crying out loud. Holy cow. 1,471 backers? Jeez, wow. These are not the most. Okay. Now we're going to do our final thing of the episode. Extras. Wandering in the fog. Here we go. She is the only survivor. What happened to the others? They're all dead. I would like to talk to her. Hello? Oh! This is what he's been doing. Good afternoon. My name is Johan Kerferman. I am a doctor. He's the doctor. <laughs> I'm, I can't stop. Sorry. We're dealing with English people here. We, I cannot not try not to make that joke. Would you mind if I ask you a few questions? Please be careful with her, with what you ask, Mrs. Polynel's state is delicate. I am perfectly fine and able to talk, sister. Thanks for your consideration. Now, Doctor, I understand you want to repeat my story? I would be thankful to hear it indeed. I'll see you outside if you need me. I am a sane woman, Doctor, in complete control of my mind and reason. You do not... you do not dare to question it? I certainly wouldn't. Then I will commence. I woke up in the dark. The room was small, so narrow, that I could touch the wooden walls just by raising my elbows. Where were you? Could you recognize the place? I couldn't tell at first for a moment. The most dreadful thought crossed my mind. What if I had been buried alive? When I got out, I found myself in my parents' house. I hadn't been there since, since they sent me to school. Were your parents there? Goodness, stop scaring me, people outside my room. Oh, yeah. I feel outside my window doing stuff. Okay. Did you see anyone there? Your parents? Or maybe someone you know? No, there were not in the house, nor was any servants. I had known in the years of my childhood I was alone. I could feel the humid air in my skin. I could smell the scent of the long time abandoned. I walked the rooms, unsettled by the silence. The place had the bleak feel of a ruin. Then I saw someone, in the opposite end of the corridor, an old woman stared at me. Um, who was she? An old woman? Who was she? How should I know? I hadn't seen her before. 
I followed her out through the back alley and into the streets. I got lost in the burg of Ardoran. The streets were deserted and thick fog covered everything. I thought I had seen the old woman through the fog once or twice, but they could have been just shadows. They didn't you... Was... Were, where was everybody? Did anybody walk the streets? Where was everybody then? I, I don't know, but I haven't said there was nobody. I met some people. Vigabonds. One of them was a priest. I remember a novelist and a boy, too. Um, tell me about the novelist. So the boy, what about him? He keeps doing that. I don't know what's going on. It could be, could be my computer or something else. I don't know. I came across an abandoned carriage. The horse was long dead, its bones still harnessed to the cart. There was a young man petting the carcass of the animal. Did you talk to the boy? Did you talk to this young man? He was deaf, but I think he could read my lips. When he spoke, he did with a clear accent. He said he could only listen to the songs of the departed. Okay. Tell me about the priest. This priest, where did you meet him? I met him in a stable. Good, good Lord, he said, he said a mass there among the beasts. Could you imagine that profanity? He was doing what now? I'm super confused. I don't know what he was doing. Tell me about the novelist. The woman had never written a word. She created only in her mind, you know. Ah, oh, kind of like me, sort of. So a couple of those I do actually write. I write everything down in my head, and then I'll pass it to paper. It helps me at least get a couple kinks out of the story before I do my first draft. She could tell the story sentence by sentence with perfect precision, and I could even hear a piece of her last work. What was the piece about? Do you remember anything about the novelist's work? Yes, the piece she told me was something like the shadows of the past soon melted within the land that loves silence. Though the fog they walked found themselves lost, hoping for a sign from their gods, they sent camp on the beach where the thirty birds awaited to meet their crown. What happened then? As I walked the fog, it got denser. I could barely see anything around. I finally met the old woman. She didn't say anything, but gave me a cardboard card. Then she left. She gave you a playing card? It was one of those used to tell fortunes. There was a drawing on it of a veiled person holding a lamp. No way! <laughs> then, the mist seemed to clear out, and I could finally see. What could you see? A barren land bathed by roaring waves. There were thousands of birds, and then I realized there was something else. What was it? It was there. It looked at me. The burning dark inside. The shaking. The scream. That vision. That I cannot understand. What is it, Doctor? Have I finally lost my th strength in my mind? I believe your story. I believe you. I'm sure that what you lived was real. But I'm afraid that I currently lack any proof that can confirm your account. I am sorry. I should leave. Thank you for your time. It looks like a terrier card. What the fudge, man? Okay, that wasn't who I thought it was, but... Okay. So, that was the last hour, episode 3! This was gonna be in a couple of parts, probably, maybe two. I don't know. I'm gonna see. You guys know, I don't. So, this is Agent N107, signing off.